YouTube kick. I don't know why my camera be doing that. I'm kind of bouncing it. So my name is Trey. If you don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to talk about a quick little video that I see happening sometimes when it comes to uh, children. I'm going to make this a quick image because it is somewhat weird. Um, but let's make this fast. So here's what you'll see. You'll see a guy right here, a man who is dancing in front of children. And you can see right here that he has his private part out. I, have it, I don't have it zoomed in because of that reasoning, um, but I just want to talk about it. So it says, so what is having your testes poking out supposed to teach children? So let's talk about that. See, here's my issue that I, once again, I'm still having, that we're still showing, and just in case you didn't see, by the way, there's a little kid's head down here with that little rainbow flag in her hair. So that's why the person said there's kids at this thing. So why do we keep allowing this kind of stuff? This is a man dancing with his balls hanging out. Remember when I had made a video not too long ago when I was talking about the um, transgender woman? I talked about the transgender woman who came in who said um, that, you know, that she had took a shirt off or he had took a shirt off and was showing his breasts, right? And we had said that that was not appropriate. And I said, what would be the difference if men did the same thing, if men just walked around with their balls hanging out? Would it be acceptable to be doing that in front of children? Would it be acceptable to do that in front of anybody? And here we have a man whose testicles are popping out of their underwear in front of children and nobody's saying anything. What is wrong with people? I, I'll just never understand when, when, it, when is stuff going to stop being so dang socially acceptable to do this to the children. It takes an evil person to let somebody put their balls in front of your child. I'm sorry. That's just disgusting to me. And people, some people laugh about it. Some people make jokes and that's what it's all about. And those people who make jokes about it, one, they're immature or they're just evil people. I, I really can't put an in-between. I can't give you the in-between because when children come into it, if you can't respect children enough, if you can't respect children enough to understand you can't put male people in front of them and have them not show sexual parts to them, there's something wrong with you, sir. And maybe you should go to therapy. And if you really be doing that, I'm questioning your morals and your ethics, period. Period. But, man, um, I am just to the point, and I just said this just a moment ago. I think when I ended my video, I was thinking to myself, why is this happening every day? I never thought I would get into politics. I, I told myself I would get into politics in my late 30s, like middle of my 30s, late 30s. I'm in it way in my early 30s because I, I feel like at some point I have to grow up and I have to attack these things and I have to start talking about them. But I didn't think I'd have so much to talk about. That's one reason I didn't want to go into politics. I'm like, well, what am I going to talk about? Taxes. You know, I, I don't know enough information on that kind of stuff and all that. But now the children are into it. I don't even know if I would call myself into politics, but I'm definitely into the children part of it. I'm into the other side, too. People who are really struggling with body gender dysmorphia, uh, dysphoria, sorry. People who are struggling with gender dysphoria and struggling with all those things. I'm really into that, too, because I know people like that in real life. And I know that they get lied to. 24 seven about, oh, if you just transition, if you do this or change your life and then you just see video after video and now that i'm on twitter a lot more i see this all day long when are we gonna leave the children alone and you know what i said there was one one first of all god man begin with catholic man i stand on that principle my second thing though i said the other hill i wanted to die on is to protect children for the rest of my life that's what i have to do that is a hill i'm willing to die on to keep children from getting indoctrinated and getting told that being sexually free and showing your balls in public to little children and all this kind of stuff i will stand on that hill and be like i will not let the children go down like this because if we continue to let this happen this society will be corrupt because if you think a society where children are involved sexually with adults is a society that can maintain it will be chaos and we cannot let this happen. And more and more people are starting to stand up. We started doing it with Bud Light and we have seen the trickle effect. There's almost nothing these companies can do that can change our mind at this point, because that's where they slip. They slip. Now, hear me out. This will be not be the last time. This will not be the last time we have this fight. We are fighting it now. We're going to be fighting it hard. And if, even if it starts to dissipate and the LGBT becomes a second thing and we take away that flag and we say we ain't putting that up nowhere which is perfectly fine with me they shouldn't have their own flag that they can just put up anywhere 
y'all y'all keep that in the safety as y'all home at y'all own personal meetings that's fine if you want to have a normal public meeting fine but not a whole parade of naked people running walking around now y'all don't get all that you can have a meeting like everybody else does who has their own personal groups y'all have meetings just like they do and we do okay but um uh, i think it will eventually we will turn our backs on them and eventually it'll go back to um well, maybe not go back to, but it will go to this point where it's like, okay, if you bring up the word child, it's over. But it will happen again. We must continue to fight this battle because when it comes to evil, evil doesn't rest. It'll go away for a little bit, but we must continue to fight, continue to make change, and continue to protect our children. Y'all let me know what you think. I know this was a short video. I just really wanted to talk about this one individual picture because people don't think this kind of stuff is happening. And it just... Listen, even if you're not on the side of get rid of drag queens, can you at least just open your eyes for a second? Because I hate the argument that people want to say anytime a sexual something sexual happens with a child, right? Let's say it's just some random guy who did something sexually to a person. If your response is and they're worried about drag queens, you're something wrong with you. I'm sorry. If your response is, and they're worried about drag queens reading the kids. Uh, have you not seen what these drag queens do? Did you not see the picture I just showed you? Somebody's balls hanging out? That's what we're worried about. You're worried about being right. We're worried about saving the kids. Think about it. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'll see y'all later.